Hey you guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I want to discuss absolute difference versus relative difference. So let's get going. Okay, so on your screen you see the two formulas for both absolute difference and relative difference. Okay, so absolute difference is going to be some compared value minus some reference value. And then the relative difference is simply going to be the absolute difference divided by the reference value times 100%. So, in other words, the relative difference is going to take the compared value, subtract the reference value, divide by the reference value, and then change that decimal to a percentage so that we can interpret in terms of a percentage. All right, so sometimes it's hard to understand formulas without seeing them in a proper context. So let's slide to the left and look at a problem. Okay, so this problem reads, Clint's salary increased from $23,000 to $36,800 over some three-year span. Over that same span of time, over that same three period, three year period, Helen's salary increased from twenty nine thousand to forty four thousand nine hundred fifty dollars. Questions are: Whose salary increased more in absolute terms? So, whose salary increased more in terms of their beginning value versus their ending value? And then. The second question is, whose salary increased more in relative terms? Okay, so that's going to, that's asking something a little different. So let's dissect each of these two problems and answer them appropriately. Okay, so what we need to do first is make sure we look at each of these two people individually. So, because yes, we are comparing their pay raises to each other. So the first thing we need to do is find the absolute difference for each one of their pay raises individually. Okay, so let's first look at Clint. Clint's salary at the beginning of this three-year span was at $23,000. At the end of the three-year span, it had had risen all the way up to $36,800. So the first thing I want to know is how much of a pay raise did he get in absolute terms? So in other words, in a money value, how much money over that three-year span did he accumulate in raises? We're going to call that the absolute difference. Okay, so the ab his absolute difference... is his compared value minus his reference value. Now, we want to know how much he has gained in pay raises. So his compared value is going to be his new value, his $36,800. And we are comparing that to his salary at the beginning of this three-year span, which is $23,000. So I have compared value minus reference value. I'm using his $23,000 beginning salary as a reference to figure out how much money he has gained in pay raises over three years. And if you do that calculation, you should get $13,800. So this represents how much money he has gained over three years in total for pay raises. Okay? That's his absolute difference. Let's find his relative difference. All right? If you think about what the formula was, his relative difference is the absolute difference divided by the reference value times 100%. And all that times 100% does is it changes a decimal to a percentage so that we can interpret it in terms of a percentage. So 
His absolute difference was that $13,800. And we're using 23000 as a reference value. So whenever I interpret this, that $23,000 is going to be very important. So if you calculate this out, you'll get 60%. So he's gotten... 60% of his original pay in the at the beginning of this three-year span, he has gained 60% of that in pay raises. So 60% of 23000 is 13800 That indicates his amount in absolute terms of the money he has gained in pay raises. Okay? So now I challenge you to do the same thing with Helen. Let's read Helen's scenario. Over the same time of span, over the same span of time, Helen's salary increased from 29000 to 44950 We want to find her absolute difference and her relative difference. So pause the video and try that on your own. When you have your answer, resume the video, and it'll pop right up on the screen. See you in a second. All right, welcome back. So let's see here. Um, I have found the absolute difference and relative difference for Helen. Um, Helen's beginning salary over this three-year span was $29,000. Her ending salary was $44,950. So we're taking $44,950 as the compared value and subtracting the reference value of $29,000 to see how much money um, she's accumulated in pay raises. And so over this three-year span, she's accumulated $15,950 in pay raises. If you take her ending salary and compare it to her beginning salary, okay, her relative difference is the $15,950 divided by the reference value of $29,000 times 100%, 55%. So what this means is over three years, if you compare her salary at the end of that three-year span versus the salary at the beginning of that three-year span, she has earned 55% of her beginning salary in pay raises. So in other words, $29,000 was her beginning salary. 55% of that, 55% of $29,000 is $15,950. That is representative of her absolute total of pay raises over that time span. So now let's compare the two and see who had the highest total pay raises in absolute terms and then the most in pay raises in relative terms. So let's compare. So as you can see, I had to make my head a little smaller to fit everything on the screen. Helen, over the three-year span, Helen actually got a total of $15,950 in pay raises versus Clint's $13,800. So she got more money over that three-year th over that three-year span in pay raises. But if you look at their relative difference, compare them together. That what these two numbers represent is okay. If you're looking simply at Clint's information he has over that three-year span at the end of the three years versus the beginning of the three years he has gained 60 percent of his beginning salary in pay raises okay versus she's only gained 55 percent so in relative terms he's done more he's gotten more in pay raises because you're comparing his ending salary with his beginning salary she began with a higher salary, got more money in pay raises in total in absolute terms. However, only 55% was gained if you compare to her beginning salary. So he did better in terms of relative difference. She did better in terms of absolute difference. So I hope that was a good example. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, see you in the next one.